Hey guys, I'm here to do a video on the, the MBRP dual exhaust I'm putting on today. It's been like three weeks since I've been working non-stop and uh, I am jacked to finally put it on. I'm heading to my friend's house actually. Uh, he's going to help me out. Um, you know, more hands the better, right? But uh, I'm excited. Um, I've owned Master Flow Exhaust my whole life. Um, all my trucks have had master flow exhaust on and I actually wanted it on this uh, 2019 Ranger I own and they didn't make it the one I wanted <clears throat> uh, so I heard good things about MBRP um, I had to kind of meet in the middle with my wife <laughs> I didn't want anything too loud I'm kind of over the whole loud thing so uh, what I've heard is this exhaust is pretty much um, it's like right in the middle it, it gives you what you want but it's not too loud so uh, I'm excited uh, the post that I've seen uh, on uh, the Facebook feeds and on Facebook a lot of people are curious about um, what the stock sounds like versus putting this exhaust on so I'm gonna do a, uh, a uh, video today of me installing it um, I'm gonna attach the GoPro on bumper. I'm gonna do it on the street where I'm going. I'm gonna put it on basically within a quarter mile uh, radius. So you kind of see what it is. is that guy. That was a uh, Honda. Hopefully it doesn't sound like that. Um, but yeah, so I will uh, see you here in a second. Okay, that was oh shit. All right, first day of this bracket off the right next to the. Well, here are you gonna refilm it? Yeah, it's re it's filmed. All right, yeah, so muffler to uh, I don't know what they would call that. Muffler to pipe, I guess. Okay, and it's a fifteen mil. Yeah. Fifteen mil. All right, take that off first. All right, first now we're taking the bracket off. It's a ten mil. There's, how many is there? Two. Two. It's one there. There's one here. Which we, those these come off too, huh? I don't think so. Maybe this one stays. The, uh, what's the attachment to the frame look like? Yeah, I mean this is that's the frame right there, so maybe that would stay then. Anyway, okay, we got it. So when you take it off. You got to pull out towards the back of the truck and then depending where your jack's at you can either pull it out It looks like we probably had to pull it forward towards the front of the truck and uh, Pull it out that way, but we don't know if this rubber uh, Bracket is Gonna be attached or not so we took it off anyway. I'll let you know if we have to put it back on But there it is Yeah, so yeah, there's a little uh, slot in there. Oh, right, I see that, yeah. And then if you come over here, there's like a little uh, peg sticking out. Okay, okay, yep. So that will have to line up with that. Got it. Cool, so get that first. So we uh, installed so far the adapter. Um, just get that on the edge of the, uh, the adapter of the bracket there. Uh, we're loosely, loosely placing it. Nothing's tightened yet. Uh, this actually found out is optional. You don't have to take this off. Um, it did help out getting, getting it off, but you know, if you don't have to, if you don't want to. Let me put the, uh, manifold itself on. It's, uh, again, not tightened. And this... One right here, um, you you didn't have to take it off. You could you know, leave that on that that rubber. What's that called again? Isolator. It's called an isolator. Yeah, isolator. <laughs> leave that on, and then at the end of it, where the tailpipe was at, there was another isolator, and you do have to take that off. So that's where we're at right now. We're about ready to do the the duels. All right. Okay, now I put the first 
exit pipe on, dry fit that. Now use the factory isolator. Uh, we found it way easier to put the isolator on first on here, then push it up and then mount it. That was probably the, the nicest. And get some penetrating lube. That works magic because this stuff's pretty stiff without it. Uh, yeah, so now we're going to do the second one. Okay, now we're going to attach the, uh, the frame rail on the driver's side. There's a, it's pretty identifiable. It's like a big slot right here, right over the, uh, the wiring here. So that's where you want to put that. Take a look over um, from the other side. There, dry fitted this, attached it. Ran it that way towards what we're doing now. And this is a tailpipe, all right? I don't get bullied here, all right? This is not an exhaust manifold. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, we just put the uh, two, what, what would you call these, tailpipes? Yeah. Just tips. put them on for tips. the tips. For, uh, for placement. So they're all dry fitted underneath the truck right now. So now we're gonna start from the front to the back and use 45, yeah, 45 foot pounds of torque on all these spots. So that's next. Okay, go for it. Okay. This is our first, first start. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> that sounds so different than what they're showing on uh uh trucks that I had before and even cars but uh, this one it's nice it's perfect it's exactly what I wanted and so as far as like sound inside the truck um, you can hear it if you get up to like you know 50 60 and you're and you're hitting like higher rpms the drum will start to increase inside but as far as like when you let off like I don't hear anything which is awesome. Um, except when you get on it, which is the cool part. Uh, I can hear my blow off valve uh, open up more. So it already was loud with the AFV charge pipes, but now that I put this on, um, I mean, it is sounding a little bit noticeable now uh, from before. So it's definitely, um, it's louder, which is awesome. I could, I could hear it over the exhaust. Um, I can actually hear the spooling better. So performance-wise, it actually helped the uh, the intake and the turbocharger. Um, but yeah, no, it's great. I love it. Um, I strongly recommend it uh, if you guys want just a very subtle sound, but at the same time it's aggressive. Uh, I would definitely get this. Um, 
compared to the AWE, I don't know what that's like. I heard the AWE exhaust is like top of the line and great. Um, but I, I kind of beg to differ on this one with what this sounds like. I mean, I think it's preference at this point, right, guys? Like, you want your performance to be there, and it is. Um, they say that it's going to help the gas mileage, so I mean, I'm all for that. And I didn't want a lot of exhaust. Uh, I've had it before, I didn't want that. So, um, yeah, no, it's awesome. Two thumbs up.